Hello guys, in today's video we are going to see how to get query parameters from URL in Angular using a filter example. So stay with me and see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, here in front of me is uh, an example that we made in the last video. So if you missed that video, you can watch it or also I'll put a, a link to this GitHub uh, project so you can download it and start with it. So uh, in this project, we have a like uh, uh, here in source, we have an application and we have a cars filter and cars. So I'm running that application actually, port 42,000. And now I'm going to open and show you what we actually have from there. So here's a uh, filter that we created in the last video uh, with this premium uh, cars, like a premium shop cars. So uh, switching back to that. And uh, now what we have to do. So uh, in this example uh, of uh, querying parameters, I'm going to show you two ways, two different ways in this video. First, what do we have to do uh, here in the cars filter? Uh, as we have this form group with the data here, we have first of all uh, to submit this data to the URL. So uh, here's an example that I already put here, but actually this is not going to do anything here as uh, when we go back here and delete everything, we have a cars and when we hit submit, there's nothing actually happening instead of just uh, calling in the console log uh, this object with this data here so we can do anything here like uh or doesn't matter and hit submit then we're gonna have uh, this uh this object actually updated or with the with the data so um, now we have to add the logic when we click submit to get all of these data and put it in the query parameters that's the first thing the other thing is going to be to get that parameters uh into and filter the data here so going back to the code Okay, here, uh, we're going to add some logic on submit here. So I'm going to remove this. Uh, I hope you download it and uh, run npm e, npm i on that project because we also had a bootstrap on that. So just to be able to run everything smoothly. So after that, uh, here I'm, what am I doing here? So uh, I'm going to add some uh, on submit. So I'm going to add first uh, here in the constructor. Actually, do we have? Yes, we have a constructor here. So here in the constructor, I'm going to add also router. So private router. That is actually going to be uh, Angular router. Hit enter. It is automatically adding it. And also we have to add route so private route and we're going to say active activated route so why are we going to use this activated route as well because uh in the next uh, steps we're going to get the current route and add uh missing parameters to them so uh, not missing but the new parameters to, to that route so uh we are going here in the submit and telling angular this this and router, our router, and we're going to navigate to something. So here we're going to add just an empty array, and then we're going to say the following. Okay, like this. And here we're going to add related to. So this is where we are going to say uh, to this route, actually. So we're going to get everything from this route and it is going to be like relative to. Next to it, we have to add query parameters. So we're going to say query params, and it is going to be our uh, filter. So we can say this cars filter value. So we're going to add uh, all the data from that object that we have here into that uh, query. And handling so it says query params handling and here we have to de de decide which uh, handling we are going to use so we have two options we have to preserve and the merge preserve with uh, just keep the current parameters but merge is going to merge the current route route as we can see in the example here the current route and add 
and assign the parameters to it. So we are going to use the merge here. Merge. And now we can uh, hit save and go back to the, route, the browser to see if this actually works. So when we hit submit, we can see that here uh, in the route and actually in our URL, we can see here that uh, we have this, uh, actually these query parameters added to this uh, route. So this is the first step here, adding the query parameters to URL. The next step is to get these parameters actually uh, into our cars component. So, and now I'm going actually to the cars component here, hitting, clicking on it, cars component, and then uh, we're gonna do something here. So, uh, what we're gonna do? Uh, we first have to add a constructor here. Constructor, and into that constructor, we have to say private, As we're gonna get the data from the activated route, we're gonna add this uh, activator, activate, ac sorry, activated route here. And now we're gonna add in just this as this. And on init, we're gonna use that hook. And unit. And here on init, we're gonna say the followings. So the first way we can use like I'll comment like this. So uh, using snapshot, actually snapshots. So this way is uh, simpler, but it is non-reactive. So what does this mean? First, I'm gonna say const param equals this route snapshots actually snapshot dot query uh, paramap the first one and we're gonna get something so now here we have to add uh, each of our uh, each of each of our uh, object keys that we added to the URL here so it is actually going to be like make here so we could call this instead of param we could call it like make and we're gonna get the make query param here. So uh, each of these we would have to add like this. Then I can just console log this. And call it like this. Okay, now hit save and we're gonna back uh, to the route to the browser and uh, we are going to look at this. So we're gonna see cars component and we have a Hyundai. So this is the first approach. But the, what is the problem with this one? Uh, this is fine if we want to get the data just on load and that's it. So getting the parameters from a snapshot, like in this example, is just uh, getting it on load. And this is non-reactive approach. That means that it is not uh, going to refresh if we click on it. So we can click how we want, like uh, how many times we want, doesn't matter, but it is actually just logging from the filter that we had at, at the beginning, but it's not uh, logging anything from the cars component as you can see here. So uh, to be able to solve this, uh, we're gonna do the following. Just before doing that, I can show you just that it, this actually works with Hyundai. I can add something else, for example, Volkswagen. Well, we hit enter and we get that make here from the cars component as here. So now we are going to this uh, on init here and then I'm gonna just comment out this here. So we're gonna add another approach that is more appropriate for this uh, what we actually need. So uh, we're gonna use observables here. So just let me comment it and say, okay, using observables. And this is reactive approach. So this means that we can get like this, the query parameters and say this route query param map 
And now we're going to say subscribe, subscribe. And here we're going to add params and say OK. And here const or in our case, make equals get and the same one as we did here. So we can just say, OK, get make. OK, I hope you, you get this point here. And now we're going to just log that again. So console log make make and then I'll just copy this one and comment out this. OK, like this, hit save. And now we are going back to our browser. So now when we click like this, we had the Volkswagen here. When you click submit, uh, we're getting the make Hyundai here. And now I'll just comment out this uh, cars filter component. So it's not going to log anything. On submit, sorry. So we can just remove this. Okay, here uh, we can see Hyundai, and it is actually getting the parameters from here. And then we can add anything. We can add Audi. Hit submit. And then we're going to get this make Audi here. So anything, we can see this, this actually works. So if we click on it, it is not going to uh, change anything because we are subscribing to this uh, uh, stream of data. And uh, if it's not changed, so it's not going to log anything, which is good. So if we have something different, hit submit, then we can see this as it. So uh, this is uh, for the second approach. And now uh, let's do something uh, like uh, something better here. So uh, what if we don't want to uh, add all of these params, parameters actually one by one? So we have a lot of them there, as you can see here in the, the submit. So we have make, model, year, mileage, type, color, and so on and so on. So what if we want to create something that is actually automatically getting these uh, params from from the cars component and actually from the uh, route uh, itself, so actually from the query parameters URL. Sorry if it's confusing. confusing. Uh, okay, now uh, we're going to add another logic here. So I'm going to say like this. So I'll comment this also for you. Get all params dynamically. So in this route, params map, and now we're going to subscribe again. Let's say query param map or call it as a as you like. And then we're going to see uh, say like this. OK. And now I'm just going to add uh, all params as a constant. And it is going to be an object. So to do this, to actually get all of these parameters, what am I going to do? So I'm going to uh, create an object and also spread uh, all of the parameters here, but in this way. So I'm going to add like three dots here for spreading. And let's say query params. OK, this one here, query param map. And then uh, I'm going to get the keys from this one, actually which is array of, of uh, uh, keys. And then I'm going to reduce, reduce it. And what we're going to do here. So here, uh, I'm going to add a cumulator as ACC and also add a key. And now uh, we're just going to do the following. So uh, we're going to uh, spread this accumulator. So to have this accumulated, sorry, to have this accumulated data here, ACC, and then we're going to add a key that we are actually getting there in each iteration key. And that key is going to be, so the key and the, the data for that key is going to be query params, the one that we actually get here. And we're going to just get from it a key. 
So it is automatically going to get the key and also accumulate the data here. And also what we have to do to remove these warnings, we have to add just this empty object for now. And this is just going to be an uh, like default value. So maybe you could add uh, default values actually for the search filter, but this is just for the testing purposes here. And after doing all of this, we're going to log these parameters. So console log, now let's see, all query params. All params. Hit save. And now go back to the browser. And we can see here that we have all the all query params because it is automatically loading uh, on init as we have it like that. So if we add any other parameters here, it should work. So maybe we could add in the future something like, uh, I don't know, tire size, doesn't matter, equals like any inches and then when we can see okay we can see that key tire size 20 here so uh, this is it when it comes from uh, for getting these uh, query parameters from the uh, URL actually and this is the approach I'm using to get the parameters so these are three uh, ways and uh, it is depending on the way you are using it so if you just want to get the data uh, just on first load and that's it then you can use just uh, this and it's going to be fine so uh, you could also use the snapshots to get the parameters dynamically as I did here but uh, I just use it in reduce and actually here unsubscribe to this query promise uh, when getting the uh, data observ in using observables so in the reactive approach and then the different one was the one uh, for getting the a reactive approach here and getting them on each uh, click on actually stream change so we are subscribing to this parm stream and getting the data uh, from the query parameters itself and the last it was the one uh, just when i uh, showed you the way how to get actually all of them dynamically so depending on your needs you can use them and this uh, logic could be ex uh, expanded more to add uh, just filtering to this so maybe we could just uh, add okay when we this do this or when we click on on the uh, filter to just filter out this uh, object that is actually holding all our cars and showing a new one into the browser so as this is another part of this video i'm just I'm gonna leave it as is and you get the point of getting the query parameters from url in angular so uh, if you like the video please uh, like comment subscribe to my channel do not miss any other videos thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye